What's up guys, Skinner Rampage here, so today we're doing another Funko News video because we haven't done one in a while. Let's see what's coming soon. Alright guys, so like I said before, I haven't done a Funko News video in about two to three weeks. It's been a while, and I know you guys love these Funko News videos, so I want to keep you guys up to date, of course. Um, so we have a lot of stuff to go over, um, some like different subscription services that are having new things come out, um, a ton of like different anime things, Marvel things, Disney things, there, there's just so many things. So let's just jump right into it. Um, and the first thing I want to show you guys is the new DC Christmas Pops coming soon. So these things look amazing. So um, first up there, we have Wonder Woman. So she has like a little last made from Christmas lights. I think that was really, really unique and uh, good with Funko on how they did that. That's really cool. She looks awesome. Um, we also have Superman as Santa, you know, trying to pop out his chest like to show the S. It looks really, really cool. Um, we have the Flash as a reindeer, which makes sense. Um, that's actually kind of cute. Um, we also have Harley Quinn down there as an elf, which is kind of cool. Um, and then we have her little Oh God, weasel thing. I don't really know what that thing's called um, as like a little reindeer as well. Then we have Silent Night Batman or actually is that Silent Night? I think that is Silent Night Batman. That one actually looks really, really sweet. And he has little bat slippers. That's so freaking cool. Look at him. Um, or I guess it's like, it's kind of like Silent Night Batman, but also Ebenezer Scrooge type Batman. That's kind of what it is. And then we have the Joker, of course, stealing some stuff. And what is he holding right there? Oh, he has a hook. No, no, no. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. That's kind of cool. Um, so in our next photo, guys, we have some exclusives. So we have a Target exclusive Joker, which is kind of like a Jack Frost situation, I think. And um, this one on Target's website actually sold out already. I was like, whoa, okay, that was fast. Um, so I'm sure it's going to be coming in store soon. Um, and then as well as it's going to probably restock online as well. We also have, I think this one's Silent Night Batman. Um, and this looks really, really cool. So he has like kind of like a snow kind of icy looking cape um, with snowflakes on it. That looks really neat. And I like the design, like the uh, the top like icy fading into like the dark mask and or the dark blue mask and things like that. I think it looks really cool. Um, it gives it kind of like a translucent vibe without it being translucent. And then we also have the penguin as a snowman and that actually looks really really cool so those both are hot topic exclusives so stay tuned on those guys also guys for dc we have some plushies and a superman t bundle which is a walmart exclusive and it is flocked now that's really cool so we have a flock t bundle and then a common superman as well um, and then we have a flash plushie a batman plushie harley quinn and joker so these actually look really cool and i actually really dig that superman shirt so maybe i might have to pick up this t bundle all right for my disney fans we have a lot of these alien remakes pops coming soon. I'm curious what you guys think of these down below. I'm not personally a big fan. It's just kind of like the same characters just made into aliens. It's kind of silly to me personally, but I know there are a lot of big alien fans or Disney fans of these specific movies or shows or whatever. So um, we have a ton here. I believe the top one might be Stitch, but I might have that wrong. It's just kind of giving me Stitch vibes. And then we have Russell down there on the left. We have Emperor Zerg. We have Doug. Um, so that one's actually kind of cute. It looks like googly eyes all over them, though. And then we also have, I think, the donkey from Toy Story, I believe. Um, Bullseye. His name's Bullseye. Um, and then we have Carl from um, Up. And then we, oh, we have Boo from Monsters, Inc. That's kind of cute. I will say that's cute. Um, and then, guys, we also have a Flocked Doug, which is a Target exclusive. Um, so you, now you got to decide. This is this is great that you know early on. Now you got to decide, do you want both or do you want one or the other? The Flocked one, obviously, if it's going to be relatively around the same price, you might as well get the exclusive, personally, to me. And then we have a Hot Topic exclusive, Zerg, where he is just, it doesn't actually look much different. Maybe it's the same. Maybe it's the same pop and those are, so they're just flocked. Maybe that's what it is and they don't have a common variant. Even though the flocked one looks different um, than that one. I'm not entirely sure on that, but uh, just stay tuned on that. I'm sure we'll get more glam shots and things like that. So we also have a 10 inch alien Woody coming, which is, oh my God, geez. Um, I think I showed these off in a Funko News video a while back. So these are kind of like updated glams. Um, and then we also have some like little alien remix pins coming. There's also a ton more Funko Pops coming as well. We got Buzz, we got Woody, we got Bullseye, we got Boo. Um, and then we also got Sully and then another boo. So it looks like one is metallic. That's kind of cool. Um, and then we also have, I guess that's Nemo. That's kind of cute. It's weird how they did it at one flipper. That's kind of weird. Um, I know he has like one smaller flipper, but, um, and then we also have, um, Elastigirl, Wally, Russell, the angry man. I believe that's from the, I forget what that movie's called. Emotion, something, anger, something. I don't remember. Um, and then we also have, um, the, from the Coco movie, we have, oh God, what's his name? 
I know his name's not Coco, is it? Is it Coco? I haven't seen the movie in a while, I'm sorry. But yeah, Alien Remix Pop is coming soon. Moving on, guys, Big Apple Collectibles has another exclusive coming soon. Oof. Hopefully you guys can get it if you order it. But anyways, so there's two hints to it. It's Superman, and it's a villain. So what do you guys think it could be based off this glam shot? I'm I'm kind of thinking Brainiac based off like the little tube looking things on the head. That's my best guess is Brainiac personally. Um, and it says that if the first three people to guess it gets a free one. Um, and I believe they said August. That's when or something whenever that starts. So I think it's August 2021 because there's no way they're going to get it to you August 2020. So we will see. But as you guys know, Big Apple Collectibles, they're, it's 50-50 with this company, really. Like, either they do something good or then they do something really bad. Their shipping times are not so great, um, but they get really, really cool exclusives. I don't know. There's a lot of bad things going around in this business, especially if you go on the Better Business Bureau, BBB. It's it's rough over there. It's it's rough. Anybody you ask about Big Apple Collectibles, I think nine times out of ten, you're going to get people that are telling you to stay away from them. So... Order at your own risk, but I'm curious what you guys think this one's going to be down below. Next up for my Harry Potter fans, we have a ton of new pops coming as well. Um, so we have Dumbledore in like an old style, like Christmas style outfit. We have Hermione Granger holding a gift. We have um, Harry Potter holding a golden little Hedwig and his wand. And then we have Ron holding a gift as well. Um, and then we have a six inch supersized Hagrid holding a Christmas tree. So seems like we get a lot of six inch Hagrids, I will say. Um, but I think those look really, really cool. I've always wanted to try to collect Harry Potter. I love the movies, but it's such a big line that I just, I can't do it. I can't, I don't have the space for everything I want to collect, unfortunately. And then we also have some pocket pops um, coming soon. Um, or little keychains, my bad. Pocket pops, keychains, aren't they kind of the same thing? I don't know. Um, so we have Harry Potter. Oh, so it's basically all of them, but Hagrid. Um, and then we also have an advent calendar coming for um, Harry Potter as well. So if you collect advent calendars, let me know down below. Lastly, for Harry Potter, guys, we have some Harry Potter minis that are snow globes. I think this is really unique, I will say. So it looks like it has Hogwarts on the base, and then there's a ton of different characters. Let's see if I can even name all these. So we have Harry, Hermione, um, Hagrid, another Harry, Ron, um, I believe that's Hermione. I think that's them at the ball. We have Hagrid, Hagrid, um, Dumbledore. We have Fox, the um, Phoenix. We have Snape, Dobby, Luna, and Hedwig. I named them all. Yes. So stay tuned on these. And for my Nightmare Before Christmas fans, we have some updated glams of some of the new pops coming out. So we have the Mayor Chase himself. I think this one looks really, really good as well as the Mayor Common over there. And then we also have Sandy Claus. So this one's actually really, really cool because the Mayor Pop, the OG one, is sitting at like four to five hundred dollars. So now everybody has access to a mayor pop and I think that's awesome and it's only going to make the older one skyrocket in value because people are going to grab this one and they're going to be like but I want that one so I guess we'll see but these actually look really really good for my Dragon Ball Z slash anime fans we have a Dragon Ball Z advent calendar so I'm so 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 excited about this um, I do plan on getting one and opening it for you guys these calendars are just expensive so I can't possibly get every single calendar to open they're like 40 to 50 bucks or something like that but I'm so excited about this. I'm glad they made a Dragon Ball Z one. Um, so they have like little mini pops. So I think that's kind of cool. It's unique and it's something different than pops because I do mostly pops. I've done some vinyl, um, some other types of figures on the channel, but an advent calendar, I feel like it's going to be different and I'm super, super excited. So stay tuned on this one. I can't wait to open it. So we have some more Christmas pops and we have National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So this is him himself, a Walmart exclusive. And I think it's going to be a kind of like pop ride, I assume, um, where he has the Christmas Christmas tree on top and he's trying to get it out of the car or get it on top of the car or something like that so um, this is kind of one of those famous Christmas movies that everybody knows um, I watched it as a kid with my dad I don't personally remember it but it's one of my dad's favorite movies um, and then also for that we also have some like Funko little card games for National Lampoon um, so this one's interesting I don't really know if Funko's done I think they've done no, I don't think they've done card games in the past, so I think this is something new they're introducing, which is kind of really, really cool, I will say. Um, and then they also have some other cards as well, so they have like Frosty the Snowman, I think that looks really good. Um, and then they also have Gremlins and um, Elf. So this is kind of cool. I'm curious how this game kind of works. 
um, if it's kind of like an Uno style game or what really it really entails. So if you guys would like me to do a video on these fun like new Funko card games, let me know down below. Some more holiday pops, guys. We have some more Disney. They're both Hot Topic exclusives, and we have Stitch and we have Winnie the Pooh. And we also have a little pocket pop of Winnie the Pooh, and it's a diamond collection. So this actually looks really, really cool. Um, I think Winnie the Pooh looks really, really cool as um, diamond collection. Um, so I will say it's weird that they're kind of doing these releases, not really, well, I guess technically, yes, releases, but it's weird that they're doing it in July and not closer to Christmas. I don't know why Funko does this every year. It's really weird to me, but it's still kind of cool. Uh, we're getting new pops throughout the year, so who cares? Okay, guys, so during STCC, Funko did this kind of like fun TV slash Funko news type little podcast, and they showed off a ton of new things coming soon. Um, so we have some like Hasbro retro toys. Um, so we have Monopoly, which it looks really cool. So we have one where he's in the prison outfit, and then him in his like second prize kind of like sash and things like that, holding some daisies. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we also... We just, there's just so many, it's freaking crazy. Um, oh my gosh. Um, and we also have some new Transformers pops coming soon. So it looks like we have Optimus Prime, and then we have, oh, I don't know the other, is that Bumblebee? Is it Bumblebee? Is it just like a different variant? I don't know if that's Bumblebee. Let me know down below in the comments. And um, we also have Clue, if you guys know that. Um, it, was that a show at one point and then they turned it into a game or was it always a game? Someone let me know down below. Um, and then we also have some popples. Never heard of that, but for those who know it, stay tuned. Um, and then we also have, um, Mrs. Potato Head and Furby. So I think the Mrs. Potato Head is really, really cool. We haven't gotten a Mrs. Potato Head pop or Mr. Potato Head pop first or, um, yet because I believe Hasbro owns the rights. So I think this is kind of their way of doing that and making a little kind of like retro Funko Pop line situation. So we're gonna see like pictures of them coming soon as well. So I think this was just an announcement, but I think they look fairly cool. So I'm, I'm really excited to see more about that. Also for the Hasbro Retro Toys line, guys, we have a ton of different ones. So we have Operation. I don't know who that one is in the middle, uh, that girl. I don't know. Why don't I know that? I feel like I look like I know that character, but I feel like I also don't. I don't know who the character is on the right. We have Stretch Armstrong. I think I, I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I know somebody said it's something Stretch in the comments. Um, I don't remember. And then we also have Mr. Potato Head himself. So we have a ton of different like little retro figures coming soon. Um, and I know people are like really, really excited about these. So stay tuned on these guys. Also on the SDCC Fun TV, we have a Disney train set. So there's a ton of different pieces, I guess, and you can connect them all. Kind of similar to like the Avengers Assemble Pops um, that you connect all the bases. So this one has an Amazon exclusive mini, um, a Mickey, regular common, a Donald, and then, um, oh wow, they actually have a Pluto and Elf, or I think Dumbo as well, so, and Goofy. So there are a ton of different pieces. This is gonna cost, this, or this is gonna cost a lot of money to finish. So if you're a completionist, stay tuned for your wallet to be empty. Also on SDCC Fun TV, we had an announcement, finally, of the McDonald's pop. So they're going to be um, going online for McDonald's, which they already did, unfortunately, like late, um, early this morning currently on this day. They sold out. It was like, I think, I think the link got put up on accident, something like that. And only like a thousand pieces went up. So it should restock relatively, um, soon I would say, but it is sold out for right now. And then it's also supposed to go on the Funko shop. So I, I really don't know when, but, um, just stay tuned for that, even though Funko shop is like rough. So we, I will try to get it. I really want to get, it. I really want to unbox it. Um, hopefully somebody can reach out. If you guys got one by chance, you can help me out. I'd really, really appreciate it. We'll see. Um, but yeah, they have a ton of different ones. So they basically have all the commons put together into a five, um, five pack, which is exclusive. And it has like a little golden arches, like, um, like sticker on it, which actually looks cool. It's a new sticker. Um, but yeah, they do have them all singular in common form. If you prefer to buy them all separately or one in one big five pack, I will say it is cheaper to buy the five pack than all of them separately, but that's really up to you. But I think they look really, really good. Um, and I don't know if they'll ever be in McDonald's stores personally. That'd be kind of cool to just walk into McDonald's and get yourself a pop and a Big Mac, but I really don't know. So stay tuned on these when we find out more information, like when they go in the Funko shop and if we're getting any more exclusives in the line. We also have more Alice in Wonderland pops coming. So we have the Cheshire Cat, we have Alice herself, and I think that's the Mad Hatter in um, holding like a little tea, like kettle, and then in a tea 
cup. So it's interesting. That is a Target exclusive. So I'm curious. They keep going with the Alice in Wonderland line. They just keep making different variants. So it's a really, really extensive line. Um, it's not that big of a line, but most of the pops in are pretty expensive right now. And for my Amazon Marvel Collector Corps box subscribers, we have September's theme, which is Marvel's Zombie. So it says it has Deadpool and Thor on the front. I think that Thor as a pop would look amazing, zombified. Like, I hope it's Thor because that looks really, really sick. But a lot of people are hoping for a Spider-Man zombie because it wasn't released in that line. So I think that'd be really, really neat. It does have five pieces in it, so it may have like a t-shirt, two pops, and then like two other little knickknack items. I'm not entirely sure, but I suggest you get your subscription in now because once like images release of it, people are gonna want it if it's something good. So I make, make sure to get your subscription in now. And for my horror fans, we have a new Sam pop. So this is a six inch pop. It is a spirit Halloween exclusive. So it's probably gonna come out in October or um, early September when spirit Halloween kind of shows up. Uh, so it's Sam with pumpkin and sack. So. Um, they have only one other pop in this line, and that is Sam himself, and he, I think he sits at around like 100 bucks right now, maybe like 1 to 125 something like that, so it's kind of cool that we're getting another pop, so this one probably retail around 18 to 22 bucks, something like that for um, a 6 inch type pop, kind of like a, I guess it's like a movie moment type pop, not movie moment, but like, um, it's just a moment something like a moment, something like that, so stay tuned on this one. For my NBA fans, we have a ton of new NBA pops coming soon, oh my god. So I'm not a big basketball fan, so I really don't know any of these characters per se, but, so I'm just gonna sh show you guys the picture and scroll along, but I will say, holy cow, we have a Walmart exclusive LeBron James with the yellow Lakers jersey and the um, purple um, text, and then we also have the purple jersey with the yellow text for the Lakers, um, 10 inch supersized pops. So one's a Walmart exclusive, Oh lord, they are just killing it with these 10-inch pops this year. This is crazy. Like, they probably have, like, oh my god, maybe like 75 10-inch pops or something like that. Maybe 50. I don't know. 75 seems excessive, but they have so many different ones. And all the new ones coming, so they might have 75 to 100 um, by this point. So stay tuned on these, because that, that's a lot. Like, if you collected all that, that's like, that's 3, 6, 9, 12, and then the 10-inch pop, that's like over $150 for some pop. That's freaking nuts. So stay tuned, guys. And for my NHL fans, guys, I'm not a big hockey person, so I really don't know any of these characters, but it looks like we do have a chase variant for one of them, and then we also have a 10-inch supersized pop on these, this other image. So, oh my god, stay tuned for all these 10-inch pops. Lastly, for my Die Hard fans, we have a new Walmart exclusive John McClane pop from Die Hard. So this is where he's kind of like walking on glass and he has bloody feet with a pistol in his hand, uh, blood on his face. So this one actually looks really, really good. Um, and it makes sense because they're releasing a ton of different Christmas pops and this is considered a Christmas movie, but also not a Christmas movie. So you guys can debate that down below in the comments if you want. But yeah, I mean, there was a lot of different releases for um, so this Funko news, tons of different one so if I messed up on anything or any of the questions I asked throughout the video make sure to answer them for me down below because I look to you guys sometimes for information as, as you guys look to me for information so if you guys enjoyed this Funko news and it was super helpful make sure to leave a like down below um, any future Funko news videos I do will probably have like release dates for these or I'll update a pinned comment down below for certain things um, and you guys can ask any other questions you might have down below but anyways I want to say a huge shout out to my patreon subscribers I appreciate you guys so much the support is awesome and I appreciate I seriously appreciate the support on the channel really really helps me do um, different types of videos and I appreciate it seriously so if you guys would like to check out the patreon help support the channel help support me I'd really appreciate it if you guys check it out down below also make sure to check out my Facebook group and my discord really great community and you can make all kinds of cool fans on there and I promise you guys we don't play that trolling crap okay all kinds of cool things going on over there and every day we are working to make the groups better and better so if you guys want to join that great community make sure to go and join those make sure to follow my social medias Instagram and Twitter that's where I post my videos and post all kinds of cool images of pops and things like that. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Bye.